2024 is giving lawyer and doctor energy, straight A's, all that fun stuff. So I've prepared 10 tips on how to have the biggest academic comeback you've ever had thus far. But before we get started, my name is London. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and let's go. So the first academic tip that I prepared for you guys, time management. This is a very, very important part of your academic journey. It is important that you realize all of your commitments that you have, whether that's clubs, social events, school, volunteering, church, and put that in a calendar and a lot, a specific amount of time for each of those commitments. Because staying on top of your due dates is probably the only way that you're going to see the academic comeback that you want to see in 2024. You can't have 10 missing assignments and expect to have a 4.0 and cram at the last minute like that's not how it's gonna work things like this take time and you have to allot a specific amount of time the second tip that i have for you guys is to practice effective note taking understand your learning style and how you grasp information best for me when taking notes i like to consolidate the information given to me into bullet points and also make my notes aesthetically pleasing because it's fun for me to look at if you share those similar viewpoints with notes then definitely make sure to implement all the techniques that you can to have the most effective note taking style for you because those notes are going to help you study and then get the a on your test that you need in 2024. The third tip that I have for you guys is to actively participate in class and during your teaching and lectures. So if you are not paying attention in class, you're not going to grasp the information that you need to get that A on that test and graduate and become that big shot doctor down the line. It's important that you're always paying attention in class and ready to ask questions and answer questions because when you're readily available to answer questions, your teachers are going to recognize that and you, you'll probably become a favorite student because you're always participating, but also it gives you the chance to grow and learn with your class and build that connection with your teacher that will help you understand the knowledge on a deeper level. The fourth academic tip that I have for you guys is to regularly review your study materials. I found this thing on Pinterest and it's like if you have an essay, prepare three days in advance, a test, a week in advance, something like that. So I definitely resonate with that. If you have a test, you should be studying on Monday if it's the next Monday because every day you can learn a new lesson from the chapter that you're going to have a test on because when you cram your information, you're not going to recognize it and understand it in the best capacity that you could if you spent the entire week to gradually relearn the information information fifth or fourth yeah the fifth academic tip that I have for you guys is to utilize your resources we live in a generation and a time in our lives where technology is basically going to take over the world why would you not use that to your advantage YouTube if you feel like your teacher was not teaching you the lesson in a way that you can understand it go on YouTube look up the lesson that you're learning and there will probably be another teacher who can teach it to you better who has uploaded a video on YouTube that is going to teach you and help you understand it from home so you can study for your tests if your district invested in the paper I O tutoring company it's literally a free tutor that will help you with any subject that you need help with just type in all the stuff that you need help with and then they will give you feedback with a live tutor I believe you can have it like a zoom call or you can just chat with them really quickly through your phone so utilize all the resources that are given to you because that will help you have your best academic comeback thus far sixth tip that I have for you is to set clear goals for yourself to understand what you want to accomplish from 2024 academically I gave this similar tip in my how to be that girl in 2024 so if you're looking for tips on how to be a little more social or just things that aren't relating to academics then definitely make sure to check it out I'll link it down below and it's also right here but yeah set the explicit goals that you want to see let's say you want to say oh I want to get good grades well what does good grades look like explicitly state i want to get a 4.0 with one b because i have an honors class definitely write out word for word what you want to achieve from your academics and it will most likely come true because you know exactly what you want and then from there make a plan on how you can achieve those goals follow that plan step by step and your goals will come true especially when it comes to academics the seventh tip that i have for you guys is to seek feedback don't be afraid to have somebody else review your essay or go up to your teacher and ask her what ask her or him why you got this question wrong if you get a b plus on your test and you were wondering why you didn't get an a respectfully go up to your teacher and say hey excuse me mr or miss so-and-so i was wondering if you can explain why i got this wrong or what i can do in the future to prevent this kind of mistake your teacher is probably going to say yes yeah, sure let me explain this to you you got this wrong because 
because that's your job rely on your teachers because they are there to teach you to their best of their abilities so rely on that as well in seeking feedback the eighth tip that i have for you guys is to stay motivated always remember why you're doing what you're doing for me it's waking up and being like okay i do what i do so i can go to ucla and become this big shot lawyer that is what i do when the tests get hard just think there is a reason why I'm doing this and it'll all pay off when I'm living in my mansion as a lawyer. Like that's the kind of mindset that you have to have in order to remember there is a reason why I'm doing this and it will pay off if I'm just consistent and stay through with what I set for myself as goals. The ninth tip that I have for you guys is to stay organized. This tip is very important because it leads to efficiency and better grades overall. When you're organized, you have everything all put together and you're able to understand things a lot better because you have things sectioned to specific subjects or lessons. Also, don't have your backpack filled with like a bunch of random papers. That is gonna lead to you forgetting to turn in papers, late due dates, late credit, and those are not cute in 2024. We're leaving those. That was 2023 behavior. Additionally, if you have an iPad, use that to your advantage to organize yourself. Good notes, caller notes, all of these are great websites to help you organize with online digital assignments. I use these two apps and they really help me organize all of my assignments that are on technology apps. So definitely make sure that you're staying organized 2024 for your academic comeback. The 10th tip that I have for you guys is to reflect on your performance academically at the end of each semester or mark or even every Sunday. I like to do it every Sunday. Sit back and be like, huh, how was I motivated this week? Did I stay on top of my stuff? Did I get all my tests on a grade that I would prove of? Or was I slacking, getting distracted, and not doing any of my work on time? Don't lie to yourself, be honest, because then when you're honest, you're able to understand what you need to work on, and then you're getting better at your goals, and you're getting that academic comeback that you've always deserved. So just reflect, don't be like, yeah, I was pretty good this week, because like, I turn in my assignments like actually don't lie to yourself and think okay I wasn't this good this week I was distracted so and so whatever reflect understand and do better and because I love you guys so much I'm going to give you an 11th tip because why not and that is that you have never ever arrived don't just sit back when you have that 4.0 like yep I don't need to do anything because when you get cocky and when you feel like you can't do anything else to be better you lose and the perfect example of that is the tortoise and the hare. So basically, this is the story. Two animals are going to race, the turtle and the hare. The hare is like, I'm going to win this. Boom, shakalaka. Let me sit back and relax. So mid-race, the hare sits and falls asleep by a tree. The turtle's like, I'm going to work hard. I'm constantly wanting to do better. Let me win this race. And who wins? The turtle. The turtle was like, okay, I'm determined, I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna win. The hare got so cocky that they were going to win and that they had everything they wanted that they lost. You've never arrived. And that is like the perfect example of that. Also, be the tortoise, be like, you know, let me work towards my goals. I might not be the best at it yet, but with great determination and a great hard work, I can get to the goals that I want. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. I post every Sunday at 12 p.m. PST time. If you guys would like a part two, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below any tips or questions you'd like me to address. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!